Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to another Total War Rogue 2 online battle. And this was the second match, me and my, well, this was really the first I'm doing in opposite order that me and my friend played. I was playing as the Nervi Eye, and my opponent was playing as the Aravasi. Now, as you see, I brought four Mighty Horse, three Celtic Youths, six Fierce Swords, two Naked Spears, and two Oath Swords, and one of them is my General. My opponent brought three noble fighters. I have to do a quick counting right here. One, oh god. One, two, three Skutari spearmen. One, two, three, four, five Skutari. And three Iberian swordsmen and three Balearic slingers. Now I want to say this was a pretty good army. I actually kind of agreed with this a lot. I was actually kind of afraid when I came to see it. However, one thing that's really important they always want to make sure of uh, when you're doing matches is to make sure you focus on um, the way your army set up. Because the way your army set up can really be the difference between victory and defeat. And then having experience on the side or any units that help cap keep cap away is great. However, you kind of want, if you ever notice your opponents bring cap around like I'm doing right here, have those guys off to the side. Keep them here in like defensive formations around your back, just so they can get in real quick. Now, I was actually kind of worried about this because I, since I'm playing as Nervii, Nervii units don't have uh, particularly good armor. As in, Fierce Swords only have ten. I was they have a 35 shield value, I believe, though. But obviously, they're just going to drop to concentrated range fire, which is always a good thing to do, is you always want to focus fire with your range units so you can have all that damage in one area. Now my opponent, he does use um, rapid shot, rapid reload, which, you know what, versus my first switch, it's probably a good idea to kill as many of them as he can. I think he did a really good thing here. He brought uh, his Scutari spearmen around his side to protect himself. And this did make me have to rethink about whether I was in charge of my cabin or not. However, he had um, all of his noble fighters over here and another Scutari. So bringing my mighty horse through here would have not been a very good idea. But as you can see, over here it was a bit weaker. So I could theoretically discharge right through his Iberian swordsmen. Especially because they're not braced and being a bit thinner on their line, it would be much easier to break through. Now, another really good thing you want to thing you always want to do is always pull your skirmishers back after they're gonna be after they're in, uh, about to be hurt. Always a good thing to do. Now I notice that he's now the battle's beginning. I'm gonna have to make my mighty horse worth it. Now I think he really should have charged in. Because um, Scutari, they don't have a very good charge bonus. However, I think it's always better you also want to get a charge, especially get a unit you know, with the Fierce Swords. Now, one thing I really didn't like is that he only let, he left his Noble Fighters back here for so long, not doing anything. When they could have caused a lot of damage. Having one of those sneak through like a little gap like this to help take out that one Fierce Sword or come around this way. Or maybe even have them on the flanks to come around somewhere. Definitely would have caused damage. As you can see, I charge in with my mighty horse on each of these flanks. And it's these Iberian swordsmen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get to his Balearic slingers. And you can hear my cat scraping against the door because it wants to come in. Now this Scutari is about the route, having to fight two, oath, uh, two fierce swords, a fierce sword, a oath sworn, and a naked spear. My Celtic use get a good amount of kills. I'm focusing in on uh, the Balearic slingers and Iberian swordsmen. One second. <coughs> now I've let my cat in my room. Let's get back to it. So as you can see, these Balearic Slingers got a decent amount of kills. But one thing you really have to notice is how I got either the same or more kills than my Celtic youths. And yes, they are javelin uh, infantry. However, you really need the focus fire on one unit to really get the most out of it. Now, one thing I always suggest you do if, if you if you know you have a chance to be retaliated by enemy infantry is kind of just 
drag your cavalry through the skirmish line. Just enough to where, if even if only one of them is fighting, some of the skirmishers around them will stop. And sometimes people will tell the whole unit to fight. And if they're doing that, then if you drag it all the way through, you're disrupting all of the skirmishers. And then after you do that, you can bring them right through here in the back. And the one thing, you always want to make sure they're paying attention to what other units you have with you. These Kutari spearmen did get brought in eventually. I use my mighty horse to assist in this battle between a noble fighter and an Oathsworn. Uh, he does pop the headhunt and I do not. Which does come to hurt my Oathsworn later on. As you can see, my fierce swords they are starting to grind down kind of, so now they're starting to losing. However, I did bring a brutal Gontis general, and when I did my first charge, I had force concentration, force concentration giving me more melee attack. And I do have pride, which I pop off to save some of my routing units. As you see, I pull my uh, horsemen back, because I thought my horsemen were in the fight, however, I was not prepared for the, um, hmm. Am I really still losing this? Uh, I know I started losing it eventually. I charge in my mighty horse here in the back of this fight between the Skutari Spearmen and these noble fighters. Yes, hello cat. <clears throat> so as you can see, his noble fighters did get a, they are getting quite a few kills. Only he popped head on, yeah, 76 kills on this, and obviously the immense amount of morale. Now, one thing I chose not to do in this is I chose not to pop Frenzy on my Fierce Swords, because Frenzy uh, pops you into tired or very tired. Really, you get, do get a decent charge bonus, I just don't think it's worth it for um, the fatigue penalty you take. As you can see, my Fierce Swords did get a very good amount of kills. Yeah, 166 in this, and that's really where the strength of the Nervi Eye comes in. Their Fear Surgeon is how much damage you can cause in a short time. However, against um, Hoplite factions, assuming you have heavy enough Hoplites in there, and you uh, Hoplites are able to, to sustain the initial like assault and ravaging from the noble uh, from the Fear Swords, my bad. The Nervi Eye really just it just can't compare. Because they really lack any holding power. Obviously they have naked spears, but again, these guys only have 10 armor. I believe they only have a 25 shield value. And actually, since they're naked dudes, it may just be a 35 shield value. I'll have to... Uh, whatever. I have these naked spears over here heading into the Valeric Slayers. And these Valeric Slayers are getting a good amount of kills. This one over here in the back is just throwing a bit more kills in. I route one of those noble fighters. This other noble fighter is actually beating my two fierce swords. Or at this point, just too many of his units have died, and now, and now I'm just cleaning up the rest of it. Um, I think my opponent he had a very good army composition. However, it was not laid out the right way. I know he didn't bring any cav. However, he still, with all the spearmen <clears throat> he brought, he brought um, he made very good choices in that regard with the spearmen he brought. They just need his army just need to be positioned a bit better. Obviously, like having his noble fighters join the fight almost immediately, not leaving um, any of his sword units that are not protecting flanks sitting in the back, having range units focus firing on other units. That's really what will separate. Um, that's really what will change the balance in one person over. Because you can obviously just put units all in one line, but if someone puts it in a good formation, you're obviously gonna end up losing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the battle, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!